More visitors, more exhibitors and more announcements than expected meant that Solar Power UK 2012 started in buoyant fashion and exceeded organisers' expectations. The uncertainty over the feed-in tariff seems to have galvanised the industry and the focus appeared to be about how consumers can use solar to generate their own power. 4,500 visitors came through the doors over the three days of the event to find out more about the 170 exhibitors and listen to some of the 32 seminars. 4,500 visitors came through the doors over the three days, which was a 62% increase on the previous year. The event was also bigger, with a 150% increase in floor space taken by the 170 exhibitors, and in addition to this, there are 106 presentations held across five dedicated seminar themes. We've had 14 sessions going on in our three different paid seminar halls. We've also got two feature areas, which have practical demonstrations for both large-scale solar and small-scale domestic solar on rooftops each and every hour on the hour each day of the show. It's been tremendous in terms of the way that the industry's really embraced the show this year. Visitor numbers have been through the roof. Exhibitors said that the conversations that they were having with visitors were very productive and they were genuinely interested in what's on offer and were more focused and receptive. What we see here is a lot of very good uh, customers, potential customers for a company like ours. Uh, we see a lot of uh, installers here who are looking for suppliers and they, they know Trina, they've heard Trina of course, but they actually want to sort of sit down and meet and discuss and it's an opportunity to do all of that. So it's about the networking, it's about meeting those potential customers and from that sense I think this show has been a big success for us. What I find with the Solar Power UK show, it's, it's very focused in people that are genuinely interested because they're coming here for the conferences and also for the exhibitions. So you get people that are focused in on, I want to see this at this show. Whereas with larger shows, you tend to have people just, I'm going to go, I'm going to have a look around. I get home with a load of data sheets and they go in the bin or in the cupboard. Whereas here, it's, it's kind of quite specific and um, you know, it's, we, we get a much more targeted audience and a more receptive audience because of that. Even though we've had some negativity in the industry, it seems a lot of companies are still investing to come back again. It's good to see that the number of stands has increased and there's a lot of talks going on to help uh, the installers get the knowledge they need to sell in this uh, industry with a declining feeding tariff. This is exactly the type of forum that we as a company like. I mean, we have a, we've invested a lot of time, effort and money into the stand here. But this is a great way of introducing Enphase to the UK market to actually get face to face with installers so they can touch the product and understand it. So this type of event we, uh, we really enjoy doing and it's a lot of fun. Those attending the event left armed with quality information and now hope to confidently meet consumers' needs and provide a better service. We were looking mainly at um, panel panels, prices, um, mountain systems, in particular flat roof mountain systems. Yeah, we, we found out what we needed to find out. That was great. We just came from the PVSEC Frankfurt, you know, which was a much different event, and this seems to be a much different event, you know, especially designed for United Kingdom customers. So I guess it was good. You know, I met few of customers and. It was nice. The quality of exhibitors are very good, so uh, all the main uh, people that I want to see are certainly here. It's been great, fantastic. We've picked up a lot of information, a lot of more connections, and uh, hopefully it'll help us move forward with our business. So the overall feel from the floor is that the feed-in tariff changes have largely been positive for the industry, and many less professional operators are no longer in business. The UK market is maturing, and it appears to be getting stronger and more united. Some experts are urging everyone to learn from the mistakes of other countries fast so that consumers can get the best products and service for their needs. We're looking to expand by about 25% next year. Um, so far, early rebookings from people who have been at the show have been very positive. Um, we've filled up quite a, a good proportion of the hall already and we haven't even finished this year's show. So that really shows a confidence in, in a marketplace worldwide that has a lot of 
a lot of people wondering what we're going to be doing next year. We've got some fantastic companies that have supported us, some wonderful sponsors who are coming on board and putting their pen to paper and saying we're committed to UK Solar next year, we're committed to Solar Power UK next year because we're going to have a business.